Hello everybody, this is Mateo saying nothing can ever be timed out right on Let's Play Mega Man X. Uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, you know how I was saying, like, hopefully I can get this done before my family shows up and stuff? Well, they showed up the day afterwards. Uh, so yeah. Here I am again, and I was also much more sick than what I've already been, uh, during this Let's Play. But I'm all better now, so I think this is all for the better. Either way, we have this guy. He is my favorite boss in the set of bosses. Uh, just because he's a giant face, and he's really cool looking and stuff. And he's weak to the chameleon sting, so use that. And all three of the parts are weak to the chameleon sting, not just... Like, the nose is weak against chameleon sting, and the eyes are weak against horming torpedo or something like that. Nope, all chameleon sting. Uh, and his eyes have three different forms. Uh, blue, green, and red. Blue, as you can see, will start charging at you. A green will shoot a laser at you, and red will do both. Red will shoot a laser while charging at you. And the nose just brings in the walls and goes back and forth to try to hit you. Hopefully not into the spikes, which are his teeth down there. And once you blow up his nose, the spikes will be gone, so you don't have to worry about that. And we're all done here. That's the second stage. I think it's the second stage. It's been so long I've forgotten. That's awesome. So hooray! Uh, we've only fought three or four Mavericks in the Sigma stages, so they're going to have to shove them all in this last stage. Well, third, technically last stage. Uh, and that's exactly what they're doing. I mean, look, we were here for a minute, not even, and here we go fighting another Maverick. And this one is, uh, Armored Armadillo, one of my favorite Mavericks. Just because I like this attack, it's really cool. And fun to dodge. But yeah, just hit him with the Electroshock, Electric Spark thingy. And then just continuously dodge his bolts while you shoot your own, and you should get him, and you shouldn't get hit. I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but if he still had his armor, he's impervious when he does the whole rolling thing. However, if you knock it off with the electric spark, you can hit him with the uh, electric spark. However, you can't... Uh, he could still block the first electric spark attack as long as he still has his armor, so... He's weird like that. And he's also dead a second time. How did these... Were these guys rebuilt or something? I mean, we blew them up once. Back when we had to originally fight them. Oh god, ow. Bats. Bats. And pickaxe bros. Energy! And now the bats are gonna respawn. Awesome. I still wanted that energy. And there's energy up there. They give you energy and sometimes weapon energy too at the end of each fight. So you could grab those. So this isn't all that difficult. I mean, I'm going into here with full energy and spikes on the ceiling. This is definitely sk Sting Chameleon. And, yeah. So we're going to go Boomerang Cutter. And we're going to show up. That is really cool. Now, if I didn't have to uh, re-record this because I was interrupted the first time, and something broke the second time, <laughs> uh... I, you should have heard my reaction. I was just like, oh my god, that was really cool. And it is. Too bad I don't show off all the uh, charged up attacks. Do I know what they all look like? Um, I'm trying to think of... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what all of them are. I could describe them. Uh, should I? Uh, sure. Uh, boomerang Cutter, you saw, launches the four boomerangs in all different directions. Um, Armored Armadillo's Rolling Shield basically puts a shield around you and you can't get hurt. Chameleon Sting, you're invincible. Uh, I Shotgun Ice, you've seen that before. It creates like a little ice sled type thing that you can slide on. Uh, Storm Eagle or Falcon or whatever it's called has the storm tornado, it's basically up and down where you're standing. Uh, the electric spark... I don't know what the electric spark does. Uh, maybe somebody can tell me in the comments. 
I don't know the charged up electric spark, because I never use it. Um, homing torpedo sends out these homing fishes, and there are a bunch of them. Which ones haven't I named yet? Uh, did I say homing torpedo? I meant horming torpedo. Uh, what else is there, though? What other boss? Or what, have, what other weapons? I'm forgetting at least one. Uh, oh, um, flame amethyst weapon, the flamethrower type thing. You charge it up, it'll create like a flame wall that'll keep going forward as long as you keep on moving, and it's really cool. Uh, are there any other weapons, or is that all of them? I probably should have been keep. I probably should have kept count. Oh well, I'll check it the next time I go to the uh, weapon subscreen. Uh, by the way, Spark Mandrel's dead. Same thing as before. Oh gee, I wonder which boss is next. Seriously, I have no idea. Spark Mandrel, maybe? Wait, we, no, we just fought him. What could it possibly be? Uh, let go of me, Mr. Fishy. I need to figure out this mystery. Um, let's see here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I named him all. We're going to show off what happens when he loses his arms. So you take the boomerang cutter. Um, hit him three times with it. Uh, spamming that thing, okay. And he loses his arms, now he can only do the torpedo attack. And now we're gonna hit him with the rolling shield, because we can. I actually think he's har kinda harder with, uh, without his arms, because he keeps on launching these missiles, and that'll cancel out your rolling shield. And he keeps on jumping around too, and the rolling shield obviously rolls around on the floor, so... I think he's easier with his arms, even though it ends up taking longer. Although the rolling shield does bounce off the walls, which is pretty cool. Uh, see, that was an example. I shot the rolling shield, I should have killed him there, but his torpedo blocked it. So, I just think he's harder without his arms. But, if you want to do it that way, you can. If you don't have the rolling shield, then yeah, I suggest cutting off his arms. If you are able to do that. Either way, let's be stupid. Try to grab stuff. Oh, wait, we just went right over those. Okay, never mind. At least we got to skip some stuff. I don't know how they want you to get past that. I honestly don't. While still grabbing the items. There's one more. Oh, yeah. Flame Mammoth. I thought we fought this guy earlier, but. Oh, no, we didn't. So let's cut off his nose now with the boomerang cutter. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna do the fully charged thing. I don't know if that counts towards the three. Yeah, it does. Now he looks more like a pig, so now he's a mouse pig instead of a mammoth. A mammoth mouse. Does that mean he's afraid of himself? I honestly don't know. Either way, this guy is definitely easier without his nose. He can no longer change the direction of the conveyor belt, so you don't have to worry about that. And he can no longer light oil on fire and create a blockade on this conveyor belt. And it's just easy to begin with, so... Whatever. Goodbye, pig mouse elephant man, who is afraid of themselves. Moving on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I described every single weapon. And now, another boss! But this time it's the actual boss of the stage. And I really don't like this guy. He's just not all too interesting. He basically goes back and forth, omnomming on his own body. He's a head and a wheel thing. And he will he could get you trapped over there, which is annoying, so don't do that. And kill you like he did me. And we're not gonna cut because we didn't get very far in that boss. And... It's just not all too interesting or fun. It's very slow. I just don't like this boss. Uh, what other weapons do we have yet to try? I'm just going to take him on with the X Buster, I think. And he'll knock you off the walls, too, which is where you have to get up so you can get up to a height enough to hit him. And Hadoken! He has his own Hadoken, only it's gigantic. Okay, so getting squished by him does not kill you. Although I don't know about those spikes that he has his teeth. 
and that was extremely close. I really don't want to find out, though. Oh, God. Hi. You can stand on his uh, car part just fine. It's just his head that does the damage. Although, I'm pretty sure if he runs you over, that'll still do damage, too. I honestly don't know. Okay, great. We're trapped up here. Now we're going to take a, bu a bunch of damage trying to get out. Uh, see, now I'm stuck. And we have to wait until he has tokens like four times. Oh, see, he just pushes you around like you're a rag doll, and I really don't want to use a sub tank, but I think we have to. I, I, it's not that I find this guy challenging, even though I am, and that's why I hate him. I like the challenge, I just don't like this boss. Because he does cheap stuff like this, and it's a lot of waiting. Mainly. We almost have him, though. Okay, ow. And he does a lot of damage, too, even though we have the armor. And there we go, he's dead. We don't have to worry about crappy bosses anymore. And we are near to the end of Sigma stages and the game, so... Huzzah. That wasn't a very excited huzzah. We should be done by now. We should. It, this should have only take, taken a week, but now it's taken two weeks. It always seems to just happen like that. Hopefully we can get into a more of a normal schedule once everything normalizes out. Becomes normal. So, yeah, this is the last Sigma stage, so there are only four stages. And, yeah, this is a very short stage. It's basically just this uh, lateral, cr lateral climb with the Caterpillar guys. And the final boss, and that's it. I don't even know why they have this lateral cl climb. It's not really much. See, we're at the final boss now. Uh, except he has, like any boss, multiple forms! Um, so, f first thing he's going to do is he's going to throw his pet at you. This pet reminds me of, uh, Clef. Uh, Bass's dog. Speaking of which, what happened to, uh, what's it called? Uh, the dog from the original games. I don't know, I didn't play the original games much. So this dog has two weaknesses, and I'm pretty sure that they're the shotgun ice and the flamethrower weapon. I'm not too sure about the second I usually just use the flamethrower. And now we get to fight Sigma for real. So, we meet for the first time for the last time, although not really the last time. You're like Dr. Wily, and he's ripping off Star Wars just like I'm ripping off Spaceballs. That's awesome. And the basic strategy, wait for this guy to go up hit him with the buster and then he'll go as he goes back down then go back up and it just basically goes like this for the entire fight uh... he's weak against the electric spark which i will figure out eventually so we're just gonna try weapons now and see what we get nope only one damage next weapon um, maybe i wasn't too sure how much that did yeah only one so we're going to ow switch we're gonna try chameleon sting even though a lot of things seem to be weak to Chameleon Sting, and by that I mean the face boss guy. Okay, no, we're not even going to try the flame weapon, because that's stupid. Such a short range, which is why I really don't like it. Okay, Storm Tornado not all too great either. Uh, Electric Spark now, let's try it. Yep, there's his weakness. And I could have shown... I don't know what charged up Electric Spark looks like, because I've never used it. Although I'm pretty sure it's completely useless, if anything. I think... I'm not sure about this. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments and tell me what it actually is if I'm wrong. But I think X just punches the ground and makes the electrical spark run through the walls, kind of like Spark Mandrel does. Although I'm not all too sure, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Uh, I'll probably put an annotation credit in... Yeah, I'll put it. If you correct me and tell me what it really is, I'll put an annotation right here saying what it actually is, and thanking you. So, there. And I don't need like 50 million people telling me what it is. I only need one. Okay. So, um, not even paying attention to this boss because it's incredibly boring and um, continuous. I actually got hit by him. You really shouldn't get hit by this boss, you shouldn't get hit much by uh, the dog thing. I mean, the dog is more annoying than this guy, uh, just because this guy is completely broken. And in the good way, not in the bad way. 
but he's almost dead now and we're running out of time so we're going to have to do the final form in the next part so there we go he is down no more copyright problems with Star Wars and oh great he's a giant flying head now that's some movie although I can't think of what it is great and